Hi everyone, Christina Sober from Cal State Long Beach here, and in this video we'll be answering the question, what is MAD? Mean absolute deviation, which is what MAD stands for, is the mean distance from the mean. I think this will help to understand this measure of spread if we look at an example. Let's look at this data set here, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. The mean in this example of all sevens is 7. The distances from the mean, well, we're just going to subtract 7 from 7 each time. That's 0, and so they're all 0 away in this case. And so the mean distance from the mean, well, that's just you figure out the mean. You could say add them all up, divide by the total. But in this case, it's just going to be 0 over 5, which is equal to 0. Now, let's compare this to the other data set, 6, 6, 7, 8, 8. The mean, in this case, again, is 7. The distance from the mean for each data value is going to be 6 minus 7, 6 minus 7, 7 minus 7, 8 minus 7, and 8 minus 7. Well, that's negative 1, negative 1, 0, positive one and positive one. When you do mean absolute deviation, you actually look at the absolute value of all of these numbers. At this case, it's gonna be one, one, zero, one, and one. So our mean distance from the mean is going to be four fifths. So you would say that the data set of all sevens is less spread out than the data set of six, six, seven, eight, and eight because the MAD for all sevens is zero, where the MAD for the two sixes, the seven, and the eight is four fifths. So they're more spread apart. 